What's up everyone, this is Guy with the Just Bluefish Watch Reviews channel and today we're checking out a new timepiece from the Baltic Watch Company, their Panda Dial Tricompax Chronograph. It's a watch that I've had on loan from them for about a week now and it's one that I'm incredibly impressed with. So with that said, let's jump into it. This chronograph really checks all the boxes for me. First, let's talk about the price. I'd say it's reasonably affordable. But no, it's not an under $500 chronograph like some of the Chinese-made models from brands like Seagull and Red Star that you can find out there on the market right now. But for a chronograph with a Swiss-made Solita manual wind mechanical movement, I think that the price on this one is quite fair. Now, what is that price? Well, it comes in at 1,645 euros, which is about 1,750 US dollars right now, given current exchange rates. And I gotta say, that's quite a bit less than some other competitive models on the market. Like, for example, the Hamilton Intramatic Chronograph, which comes in at $2,250. And that's another relatively affordable mechanical chronograph that I do really like. Now, of course, the Hammy is an automatic movement, but I'll be honest, for me, I prefer a mechanical hand-wind movement in my chronograph watches. Now, why is that? Well, that's because mechanical hand-wind movements tend to make for thinner watches, and conversely, automatic watches tend to be a little bit thicker. And a chronograph is already a fairly complicated movement to begin with, which means that we're already starting out on the thick side. So yeah, I'll take the thinner hand-wind mechanical over an automatic any day, at least when we're talking about chronograph watches. Now, speaking of the size and the specs, let's go over the measurements on this watch. What we have here is an amazing 39.5 millimeter case diameter with a 47 millimeter lug to lug length and a width between the lugs of 20 millimeters. It's basically what I would call my dream watch dimensions. I think it's an absolute perfect size for my wrist. Now, finally, we have that thickness dimension, and it does come in at 13.5 millimeters, which does sound a little bit thick. Okay, sure. But that includes this highly double-domed sapphire crystal, meaning that, in my opinion, the watch feels much thinner in the hand and on the wrist than the 13.5 millimeters would suggest. And let's be fair, 13.5 isn't exactly that thick to begin with. So yeah, overall, I would say that the size and the scale of this watch is absolutely superb. Now the case and the bracelet fit and finishing is outstanding as well. The case lugs and the case flanks are all in a satin brushed finish and the bracelet has an alternating finish with matching brushed finishing on the center links and a nice high polished edge link. The bracelet end links are in a classic vintage inspired U-shape pivoting end link style, which I absolutely love. I think it helps keep the watch low and tight to the wrist and it gives a shorter lug-to-lug -lug impression, at least when compared to watches with more traditional T-shaped end links. The clasp is a simple dual trigger deployant clasp with engraved Baltic branding and while it is nice in quality and in construction and also in finishing, it does unfortunately only have a pair of micro adjustment points. Now, for me personally, I would prefer at least three at a minimum or ideally even four or perhaps five micro adjustment points as I tend to have a difficult time finding the perfect fit with a limited number of those adjustment points. The links themselves, aside from the excellent finishing, are interesting in that they are a flat style link system, so they are very low profile and they articulate really nicely for a super comfortable wrap around the wrist. Now back to the watch face. Outboard of the dial, we have a black tachometer scale and of course, our crown and our chronograph pushers. The crown is slightly oversized, giving a good feel when hand winding the movement and it is signed with the brand insignia. The piston style pushers start and stop the chronograph mechanism as you would expect, and they have a very nice positive and reassuring snap when you use them. The dial is in a light beige matte finishing, and it has a finely granulated finish as well, and it includes three sub-dials in black with guilloche concentric circle patterns. The applied markers include an Arabic 12 indice and stick markers at all of the other positions on the watch face. The three sub-dials include an active running seconds at the 9 o'clock position of the dial and your chronograph registers, which include a 12-hour counter at 6 o'clock and a 30-minute counter on the 3 o'clock side of the dial. The watch does not have a screw-down crown, and that's pretty common on hand-wind mechanical movements. It's usually not screw-down. 
but it does still offer you 50 meters of water resistance. And the mechanical hand-wound Solita SW510 chronograph movement features 63 hours of power reserve. Now that pretty much covers all of the technical features and specs for this new Baltic Tricompax chronograph, and overall, I think it's a pretty perfect timepiece. I know that the price might be a bit more than some people want to spend on a watch, but compared to a lot of the other similar competitive models on the market, I think that the price of this one is excellent. As far as any disappointments, I don't have too many. As I mentioned, I do wish that the clasp had more micro adjustment, but that's pretty minor. In a perfect world, I would also love it if the Solita SW510 chronograph movement was a COSC certified movement. Honestly, I don't think it is. I'm not 100% sure. At least I couldn't find any info on the Baltic website saying that it was, so I'll assume that it's not. And that would be a nice addition, albeit, let's be fair, pretty unnecessary. And at least in my week of having the watch here, it's been plenty accurate in terms of timekeeping. Other than that, I don't know, I could go way out on a limb and say that as much as I really like the flat link bracelet, it would be cool if they included a leather strap in the package as well. Now, the bracelet has a really interesting quick release and link system so that you can take it off very quickly. So being provided a nice strap to swap it out would be cool and a nice bonus as well. But I'm sure most of us have plenty of straps in our watch boxes and our junk drawers, so it's not like we need yet another strap. But yeah, overall, I am super impressed with this one, and I highly recommend anyone looking to add a mechanical chronograph to the collection give this one some consideration. I do not think that you will be disappointed if you do. Now, with all that said, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this one up for today. Say thanks again to everyone that has joined me for this presentation. And of course, thanks to Baltic for sending this watch over for review on loan. I greatly appreciate it. So until the next one, I'm going to go ahead, sign off and say bye now.